My name is Joseph Johnson and I'm here reporting live in Qatar for the 2022 FIFA World Cup. I'm in the section of Ghana and fans and here with me I've got Kofi. All right Kofi, how do you fancy Ghana's chances at this year's tournament? Uh, yeah, uh, I'm having confidence for this Ghana national team, this Ghana brass stars that will do well at this World Cup. Better than we have ever done before. And I can also say with confidence that this Ghana brass stars, hmm, they will win the World Cup by force. And when you say by force, what, what exactly do you mean? When I say Ghana will win the Cup by force, I mean that we Ghanaians we will use all, all our powers to come together and, and, and defeat and beat our opponents and take the Cup by force. Have you got enough power to beat teams like England and France? Ah, should I be afraid of something? Eh? Who is England? Eh? Who is France? England and France are two of the best teams in the world. They are not to be reckoned with. What power does France have? Eh? France is even another African team. They have a player who is called Kamavinga. Please, what is French about Kamavinga? Well, I mean, he was born there. These players are Africans. We don't mind them. We know how they play. We, we even let them play for France because we don't need them. Okay, we, our own players are good. Our local players are very good. All right. One last question before I let you go before the match. Um, is Ghana getting their revenge against Uruguay? Are we going to beat Uruguay? I mean, hmm, I can't even. Be, let me talk to the camera. Eh, Uruguay. Uruguay. If you don't keep your eyes open, eh? if you play too fast, hmm, 2 0, Ghana will score. You won't even know it. Take your time and take a good penalty. Eh? Run up to the ball. And then shoot the goal. Hey. We missed another penalty. I am Joseph Johnson and I'm here for your post-match analysis for Ghana vs Uruguay and I'm here with my good mate Kofi now for this match the match that we've been waiting 12 years for Ghana were utterly shitted on I mean utterly outclassed overperformed I mean dreadful performance really I, I can't believe that I've wasted two hours plenty of British pounds on this match can i get your thoughts on that kofi this team is very creative when it comes to disgracing their country in many different ways i mean we have waited for this game for 12 years 12 good years and for what disappointment hmm. ghana oh <laughs> what, what, what? The, the last game they, they were playing with so much swagger. I mean, what happened to the game before? Eh? What happened to the Vim in the game before? You are playing with Vim last game. And now this game, you are playing with, with Vimto. You go from Vim to Vimto. Oh, Ghana. Oh, I am done supporting this national team. I am done. Mate, let's be honest. I mean, you've got no other options. I mean, you were born and bred in Ghana. I mean, supporting another national team, like England... Would it be quite possible for you, mate? Maybe back in your Gold Coast days. So I guess you could say that Ghana didn't see this coming. Kofi, did you get it? Like your currency. And if I pound your face, don't be surprised. Do, do you get it? Like your currency. You said you're going to pound my face, mate. That's a bit gay, in it? Can't do that here in Qatar. Anyways, back to you guys at the studio. <laughs>